welcome to our first Digital Sustainability Conference. It's been a strange year for us all, but out of crisis comes innovation. And I'm proud to say that the team at Croda has done an amazing job in just a few short months in creating the idea for and implementing this event. I thank all of you for taking the time to join us over the next two days in what really is a unique event, bringing together opinion leaders and experts in our industry to share their thoughts with you. To start this event in the same vein, I have Stuart Arnott here with me, President of Sustainability at Croda and our own internal expert. And he's going to help me introduce the conference today. Please enjoy all the incredible content that has been compiled for you and do provide us with feedback on both content and format to help us planning future events. Most of all, enjoy. So Stuart, why is sustainability important to Croda? Well, as a company founded on renewable resources, we've always understood the importance of sustainability. We firmly believe that businesses should be a force for good and that it's definitely possible to run a successful enterprise whilst making positive contributions to society and the environment. We are facing global challenges like never before and if you even take recent events like 80 million hectares of bushfires in Australia that wiped out a billion animals. <coughs> take for example the locust swarms in East Africa that will give rise to food shortages for 25 million people. And even during the, pan the lockdown in pandemic, when emissions fell, the world reached record carbon dioxide concentrations in May this year. And of course, I don't need to tell anybody about the pandemic, which has now infected more than 20 million people and resulted in fast approaching 750,000 deaths. So th these examples all highlight the broad vulnerabilities and challenges of our global society. Businesses have a really important role in tackling these challenges. Society expects it and Croda accepts this responsibility. So Sandra, why is sustainability important to you as an individual and to the personal care business? Well Stuart, firstly sustainability is important to me as a means of protecting the world we live in and leaving a positive legacy for my children and future generations. At Croda, our history from day one as a landline manufacturer was based on sustainability, taking a waste product and using our smart science to create value, deliver performance and thus improve lives. And that was almost a hundred years ago, long before the word sustainable was in our vocabularies or we coined the phrase smart science to improve lives as our purpose. Beyond our strength in delivering sustainable product solutions to solve the challenges of our customers, Croda operates to a highly ethical corporate standard ensuring that we are a trusted and valued partner on whom our customers can rely. For the personal care sector at Croda, we want to be seen as a leader of sustainability in the specialty ingredients market, focused on building traceability through our supply chain and being transparent with our customers with regards to all forms of sustainability data so that they can make the right choice when selecting ingredients. Our aim is to transform our product portfolio delivering sustainable solutions and the ability for our customers to make strong performance claims that really excite consumers. We work with our customers to understand their challenges and again use our smart science to enable them to deliver in-use sustainability benefits to uh, consumers. Our global teams are well connected to our customers ensuring we understand what's important to them. They then collaborate creatively to deliver innovative new products manufactured using sustainable processes supported by a wealth of data. Our ambition is to be the most sustainable supplier of innovative ingredients to tackle some of the biggest challenges the world faces. What does this actually mean Stuart and why is it so important? Well first I should introduce the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, the SDGs. <clears throat> These are a blueprint to achieve a better, more sustainable future for everyone. They address the global challenges that we face, including those related to poverty, inequality, environmental degradation, climate change, peace and justice and so on. The 17 goals are all interconnected and in order to leave no one behind, it's really important that they're achieved by 2030, this decade. Now at Croda, we're really proud of our heritage and achievements along the way. 
but we use the SDGs to inspire us about the next decade. We're one of the first companies, I believe, to launch our commitment for 2030 when we did so in February this year. And we mapped our activities carefully against the SDGs to look for areas where we could make a real positive impact and those areas where we had perhaps negative impacts. And after a whole lot of very detailed work, we came up with a very ambitious plan by 2030 to be climate, land and people positive. And in the round, all together, this is a strategy that's restorative. In other words, we will put back more than we take. So how does Crowder's commitment to being climate, land and people positive translate to the personal care industry? Well, the three elements I mentioned previously, traceability, transparency and transformation, I believe underpin our journey to become climate, land and people positive by 2030. One of our hero goals in the people positive area, for example, is to save 60 million lives from our inorganic solar protection technology that allows people to be protected from skin cancer without destroying coral reefs and marine life. Our research activity in this area includes finding marine biotech actives through our Nautilus op operation in Canada to harness nature to protect our skin from the sun. In our skin actives business, we source our botanicals while respecting biodiversity and assisting and supporting local communities. Our IRB facility in Northern Italy has created a plant cell culture technique, which means we can develop and manufacture at scale from plants without the need to grow them. We do this using biotechnology, saving water and releasing land for food crops. In our chassis ingredient portfolio, we acquired Enzo Biotech a few years ago with the aim of supporting the incredible work that the scientists there had undertaken in the previous years, enabling them to scale up that technology and ultimately to commercialisation. Commercialisation of biosurfactants with high performance attributes and this is progressing really well. We've invested in producing bio-based surfactants in the USA, giving our customers the ability to formulate naturally whilst maintaining the quality and performance and the benefits that are expected by their customers. Both the IRB and ENSA technology will help save land um, currently that is used for growing crops for use as our raw materials. So this will help us to become land positive. And our factories are currently establishing decarbonisation roadmaps to ensure that we meet our climate positive goals. How does our purpose of, of smart science to improve lives fit with this commitment, Stuart? Yeah, so if I take each of them in turn, I mean, climate I like to think of in, in three areas. One is the supply and our, our raw materials, one is our direct operations, and one is um, for our customers. Um, so we have a class leading 63% uh, bio-based raw material, and we want to move that to 75% by the end of the decade, which would be three times the target of the European chemical industry. And in doing so, it means that we use less petrochemical ingredients, which we think is a good thing. In our direct operations, we have, we're one of the few companies that have signed up to science-based targets that limit the temperature rise to one and a half degree. And practically what that means for Crowder is that we need to reduce our emissions by 50% uh, by 2030. And we need to, um, we need to reduce our scope three emissions, which is the uh, carbon we bring into our supply chain by 15%. And we've gone even further than that and made a commitment to 2050, which we'll see Crowder being um, net positive. Well, for our customers, our innovation is all about providing them with uh, carbon reductions. And we have set ourselves a very ambitious target to save our customers four tons of carbon for every one ton that we use in our manufacture and, and supply chain, which again is well above the industry average. When we think about land, um, our ambition here is to save as much land as used to grow our raw materials so that we're not adding to the land burden. And we also want to point our innovation into mitigating the effects of climate change on land and land degradation. For people positive, we intend to make massive contributions in the vaccine area, 
and we are focused on the priority diseases that are listed by the World Health Organization and we will help prevent skin cancer as we said earlier on through our smart science in sunscreens. And finally in the people area we've made a, a very bold internal target to address our uh, gender imbalance and, and be more balanced by 2030 especially in decision making positions. So tell me Sandra, how are consumers shaping the evolving sustainability story in personal care and how is Crowder supporting this progression? Now that's a really good question Stuart. Um, certainly consumer demand for clean beauty, for natural solutions that are eth ethically sourced has increased at a rapid pace in recent years. Um, understanding the impact on the environment of the products we use as part of our beauty routines every day has become really important for consumers. And this is where our traceability and transparency philosophies have a part to play to ensuring ingredient integrity and enabling consumers to trust in the products that they buy. The current coronavirus pandemic has caused many consumers to reflect and, and reappraise the types of products that they purchase and the brands that they will support. Authenticity Safety for oneself, but the broader protection of the environment we live in and the importance of health have, have certainly become much higher priorities. Clean beauty today is much more than natural. It encompasses many aspects such as safety, transparency, sourcing and, and manufacturing practices. At Croda, we ensure all of these factors are, are considered uh, when making our choices in, in terms of the suppliers that we work with and in developing and manufacturing our products. So what are some of the unique challenges facing the personal care industry in terms of sustainability and how do we tackle these? Uh, another good question there Stuart. Um, in my opinion one of the challenges facing the industry is the lack of standardisation, uh, the various regulations that exist around the world and the varying language that's used around what is clean, natural or sustainable. I think that this can lead to confusion for the consumer uh, as well as making it difficult for ingredient suppliers to develop ingredients in line with their sustainability goals while still ensuring that their products can be improved um, by the different country legislation. A lack of standard can also make it hard for consumers to know if they really are buying products that align truly with all of their, their values. So I think this is something that needs to be addressed. However, for me, the major challenge is about educating and, and changing behaviour and use, encouraging shorter and cooler showers and, and the use of waterless formats, for example. The biggest environmental impact of a shampoo is related to the amount of hot water we use to rinse. So developing novel formats um, that encourage these behaviour changes is a really important goal of, of ours. The landscape in which we operate is increasingly complex uh, and no one has all the answers for that I'm sure. Uh, at Croda though it's important for us to collaborate and form strategic partnerships with others who can help us deliver uh, those solutions to the world's challenges. As with this sustainability conference, great ideas from Croda people combined with knowledge, expertise and influence from external parties ensure that not only is our product innovation uh, pipeline strong but that collectively we create novel sustainable solutions from which our customers and consumers benefit. It's back to our purpose, smart science to improve lives. So final question for you Stuart, how are we uniquely positioned to lead the way in this area? So this is about our heritage, our authenticity and our culture. It's really about the Crowder people. You know sustainability is not a passing fashion for which Crowder's jumped on the bandwagon. It's Doing the right thing has always been a core Croda ethos. It motivates our employees and it gives us credibility with all our partners and stakeholders. We intend to lead the way and I believe firmly that we can be trusted to do so. As mentioned, we hope that you enjoy all of the fabulous content to come and that you will find the format engaging and easy to navigate your way around. We'd love to hear your feedback and we also look forward to welcoming you at our next events. Thank you again for taking the time to attend. I hope that this virtual conference will leave you inspired, but most importantly, keep safe. Thank you.